Good evening, friends. Welcome to another episode of Restoring This Voss ST24. It is ST24, just to clear that up. Um, yeah, so we got this uh, card guide <laughs> that we had to clean up. You can see there's a little bit of staining to it from, I don't know, somebody hit it with some corrosive solvent and it kind of discolored. I did what I could to clean it up polished it a little bit by hand and um, put some oil on it but yeah you can see how it's kind of like faded out but anyway it's serviceable it'll look fine against the platen it's just if you shine a light on it you can start seeing flaws but it's chipped right here pretty major I'm not gonna complain it's this machine is just an experiment it's a process but yeah we're gonna fix this uh, this floppy, both of these were floppy when I first picked it up. Um, now I have this spring loaded how it should, so when it's up against the platen, it'll hold hold true, hold, hold fast. So what we got to do is take a quick look at this system and see how everything goes together. You can see there's, let me see, rod that goes through the middle. There's a spring here. And it needs to be attached to something because right now it just freewheels. Everything is freewheeling, not doing what it should. This piece right here holds this whole side arm to the center rod with the spring assembly. And if you start trying to manipulate this spring, you would see at the end there, this whole thing starts to turn with it. But if you hold this tight and then you start, sorry, backwards camera start moving this, it, this thing will slide in between these two nuts. So what we're going to eventually, eventually have to do is tighten this in between here, pinch it so it's super tight in there. See how it's loose? That shouldn't be like that. It needs to be tight in there. So that way when this moves, this spring doesn't, doesn't go anywhere it's not supposed to. So what we need to do is you can see this on the end here, there's this little plastic piece. Here's a side view. It's got this stopper. It's an eccentric stopper. What it is, it's kind of like an oval shape, an egg shape. And it's got a jam nut, and then it's got a flathead. So you can adjust that out. That way if it's rubbing on the platen, you can just give it a little bit of turn and it'll do this on you. That way it can clear the platen or won't be pressed up against there all the time. It's a pretty easy adjustment. It's cool that they added that in there. Most of them would just rub and you know you'd have to deal with it. But yeah, it's kind of it's stopping the works. So what we need to do first, hopefully I can get all this on camera for you guys. Uh, let's see, these are gonna be five, five point five, like most things in the typewriter world, five point five millimeters, six this is a European standard. I'm not very familiar with a lot of the American standard stuff. Can you guys see this? Okay, let's see if we can make some contrast. Is that good enough contrast? Probably not, but we'll, we'll go with it. We'll just play around. We're just having fun here. So this thing is stuck. We need it to be able to move. So this needs to come undone. Let's get this jam nut unjamming. There we go. Oh, sorry, out of out of camera. I gotta get used to doing things on camera for you guys. I'm so used to holding things close. All right. So we need to back this eccentric screw all the way out. Let's see. Can you guys? Let's see if we can get a good view, a good shot of this eccentric doing its thing. Let me see here. Okay. Mm, yeah. I guess you can see that like this way yeah so see how it's now it's going farther away and it's going closer in that's because it's on like an egg shape so that's how you make things go in and out just get it on the apex of that egg shape and then it's the furthest furthest away pretty neat so yeah we got that all backed out it's backed out as far as it can go now what you can do is let me see, get it in the shot here. You can see that it can, there's the stopper. You can bring it over and now it clears. You can get it on this back side of the stopper. Okay, so now what we need to do is make sure that 
these two nuts that capture this dang it sorry guys I'm learning here learning how to get into into frame probably gonna have to do some test videos but yeah so we're gonna pinch these two nuts together pinch pinch your two nuts together guys whatever you do remember that pinching your nuts together so let's pinch these together maybe we can do it on camera together like friends let's see here I might have to reposition myself there we go let's see <laughs> tight 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 get that nice and tight okay all right it's nice and tight okay so now this whole system is working as one you can see the spring over there on the other side moving it's pretty tight and then we got the eccentric backed off so we can clear the the post and now we can get the spring back to where it needs to go so here we have the back side of the, the piece you see the springs right here the spring needs to go on the other side and it can be can be a little bit little tough so when I'm messing with springs what I do is I keep a roll of this twine yarn around I don't like poking on my fingers with springs and then I'll cut like a little one inch, one and a half, two inch strip of string. And then, let's see here. We'll put this, can we get it on camera? I'll wrap the string around the, the edge of the uh, spring. And then we'll put it down where it needs to go, underneath here. And then you can pull this spring using the string in theory I've only done this a hundred times but on camera it's gonna not be a friend get this back <laughs> okay so I got the string on the edge of this spring and I'm just gonna feed the spring back Pull on that string and then see it here it click in there use that string to pull the spring onto the opposite side where it needs to get some tension so they can pull this string out and there it is the spring is under tension and you got this this guy remember this stopper guy the eccentric what we need to do now is pull that straight and then we need to make sure that this eccentric stops it onto that plastic stopper so we're gonna re-tighten this eccentric back into position let's see if we can get a good shot of this let's see here we go can you see it the thing is moving like it should yeah there's the eccentric and you can see that piece just climbing in and out then it goes loose it gets heavy as it hits the apex it doesn't need to be crazy but there we go we'll just leave it like that for now it's dead center in that stopper there's the plastic stopper focus focus farther yeah anyway you get the idea it's right there on the stopper all we have to do now is tighten this jam nut on the end of the uh, eccentric thing and it's all set to go it's now under spring tension again it's no longer a floppy guy we got the spring wrapped around where it's supposed to it looks funky that's how they wanted it though that's it's just kind of wedged in there the eccentric is on the stopper this is tight in between here to keep all of this whole thing stable and then all we have to do, like I said, I can tighten this up later because I'm going to adjust this once it gets in the platen. You know, you can leave this, this loose once it's up against the platen, then you can adjust it. That way it'll, it'll do this on you. See how it does this? That's the eccentric. Whenever you turn this screw, this egg shape is going to go push it out, pull it in, push it out, pull it in. That way it doesn't drag on the platen or your paper doesn't get stuck in there. But anyway, so now this piece is done. It's ready to, to install back into the machine. Like I said, I did the other 
this other piece a while ago. Springs, springs, it's got the chip, could be better, but it works, it's all good, everything's good to go. All right guys, this is a Voss ST24 card guide repair of this spring system. So if you got a, a Voss and it's kind of floppy and you don't like it, or one side it seems, it, it seems like if one side was right, it, this is strong enough to hold the whole thing together. But you kind of do want it to be uniform and have everything spring loaded, working how it should. So yeah, that's day two of Voss restoration. We're going to get back on it tomorrow. It's a rainy day, so we'll be inside doing some more things. Hot Rod Typewriter Company, guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget your string. This string, it works easier than I just made it look. I'm just doing things at a distance because the camera, I'm trying to... Like this is the first time really I've done a detailed job underneath the camera like this. So I'm going to have to figure out a better way to set up. And eventually I'll get a better camera. Right now I'm working off of an iPhone 6 that I've had for like 13 years. Which reminds me of iPhone 13 is coming out. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll grab that one. I need a better camera, guys. Better pictures for you and me. Yeah. So, string... String helps. This also the string spring thing helps with uh, the uh, eraser tables above the platen. You know the little eraser guard thing. Olympias have them, but they have a little spring. A lot of typewriter parts have this like spring hook weird thing on the side. And if you use this little string to lasso it around, then you're not trying to grab it or pry at it with screwdrivers and having it slip off or doing things like this and chipping. Uh, pieces you, the, the string really you know you can wrap it around there and it's a it's a loop and you can pull on things with the string and, and those things are sharp at the end and you get little tiny pokes all the time you don't want to do that so yeah little things 5.5 mils i got luckily i had two two pou packs of these pouches these mini combination metric sets handy because this tip took two 5.5 so I had to order another one because here's the six, and here's when I was working on a Hermes machine, there was not enough room. I had to cut this that small, but it's a fingertip width of, war, of room I had to use in that in that Hermes at the six mil. So I got half a six mil, a full six mil. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. We're having fun. Hot Rod Typewriter Company, thanks for watching. Bye.